This short video will show how CAD technology is being used in the restoration of Terrapunga. Black Pond Marine Consultants conducted a 3D hull scan of both the interior and exterior of Terrapunga with a high definition laser scanner. The output from the scans was used to create a 3D mesh model that can be viewed in our CAD program. The process is similar to manually taking lines off the boat and lofting, but gives us a more detailed and accurate result in less time. Through our CAD program, we are able to interact with the mesh model to view the various aspects of Terrapunga's construction, such as the planking, structural timbers and even the engine location. We can also take measurements and obtain pattern shapes from the mesh, and the scan lets us record the vessel lines and details for historical purposes. It was clear from the visual inspection of Terrapunga that she was certainly out of shape, which was not surprising given that she'd sailed over 100,000 miles, had run aground, been rolled in storms and always sailed hard by her skipper. Fortunately, we were able to obtain a copy of the 1923 lines plan and created a 3D CAD model from those lines as seen here. Armed with both the mesh model and the original lines plan model, we were then able to superimpose the two holes to see exactly where Terrapunga's shape had changed over the years. In many areas of the hull, the design and scan lines were remarkably close, but other areas differed, such as the forward stem, which had dropped considerably. Sectional shapes can also be obtained from the mesh model as seen here and by obtaining a sectional shape in the same longitudinal location in the lines plan model, we can compare the two to see where the hull has changed in shape over the years. Any hull distortion or unfairness is easily seen when this comparison is made. Here you can see the scanned hull section in blue and the lines plan model in yellow. You can easily see that the hull is both spread at the shear and also sagged below the turn of the bilge. Another advantage of using CAD in restoration work is that patterns for individual components can be easily created. For example, the details for an upper stem, a stem knee, and a lower stem have been created in the lines plan model as seen here. Construction details such as the rabbit and beading lines, bevels and joint details can all easily be obtained from the model. Once created, it is then a simple exercise to export these 3D shapes from the model and create 2D patterns which can be laid onto the timber stock for best grain orientation and timber utilisation. Using modern CAD technology in the Terrapunga project is an exciting blend of new technology to preserve an old vessel. To follow Terrapunga's restoration progress, please visit www.bruniisland.com.au.